Hello everybody, Hebrew Lantern here for more Let's Play The Walking Dead. Don't know why I decided to say it like that, but I did. Uh, last time on The Walking Dead, we uh, found out that Kenny is a complete dick and he tried to kill us. Let's find out what happens now on this part of the episode 3, A Long Road Ahead. I, I can't wait to go on a train. I'm assuming I'm go we're going on a train because, you know... The whole fact that there's a train there. That was, it's usually the first place that I'll think of going. Anyways, we're back at the motel. Or some hotel. I don't know if this is the same one or not. Don't know where the, all those arrows came from. Those are really weird to see here. Got that college kid on board, or high school, I don't know what she is, he is. She's talking You're with back. her parents. Ben found some stickers in a drawer, and I put them on my walkie. Aww. Hey, sweet pea. That's neat. I'll find you in a minute. That's nice. It's really sweet. Looks like we got the kid on watch again. <laughs> What'd you get? We might as well leave a sign out that says the men are gone and come and rape our women and children. Ha. Huh. That's not funny, dude. So, what did you get? Just what was left. Which was a lot, actually. Take a look. We're fine, by the way. Well, that's obvious. Nice work. This will keep us going. If we carry on like this, we'll get through the winter here. The winter? We'll freeze our asses off here. Because piling into an RV with you after what you did to my dad is so appealing. Yeah, Why don't be a jerk. Be? You know I'll do what it takes to keep everyone safe. We're already safe. We do whatever is best for the kids. Doesn't that make sense? It's suicide out there. We'll die in here. You're right. You could see someone <laughs> sleeping and kill one of us. At it again, are we? Can it, Carly. Don't boss people around. I'm sorry. Somebody needs to make executive decisions for the group, though. And I don't think you're capable Bickering of like children. Together. I know you think I'm on her side, but there are no sides, damn it. What about the food situation? What about protection? What about when this place falls? Somebody's got to be thinking about this shit. How has this not been working? We have everything we need. Because of me, Lily. No, because Lee knows how to take care of people. Not just things. We got plenty of food from that station wagon. Yeah, no thanks to you. You didn't even want to take it. Where the hell would we be now? We can't just keep our fingers crossed for more station Why do you have to be such a Everything dick? That happens to us is another excuse for you to pull this crap about leaving. All I want is a week of peace, of not hearing it. We wouldn't even be fighting about our medicine and supply stocks if Lee hadn't fucked up downtown. What? what? Do you mean? Some girl came screaming out of an alley. Oh, that. She had dead hanging all over her. She was making enough noise that we would have had plenty of time to get what we needed. Instead, smart guy shot her. He what? He put her out of her misery. Stupid. Stand by it. Suffer. We're all suffering. Some more than others. We've been putting our lives on the line doing these runs into the city. You wouldn't believe the shit we see. We all appreciate it, Ken. Y'all should be giving Lee hell for not doing what needed to be done. It's not so easy for him. Look, making an escape unsavable. It's not a town. It's full of walkers. And the people who were left are dying and wandering out onto the streets. It's hell on earth. And it's coming this way. It's not going to be easier out on the road. It's not going to be easier anywhere. What I know? I know you're not above murder. I know somebody has been stealing our supplies. That's right, stealing. And I know the list of people I can trust here gets smaller every day. Now everybody get out. Bit she. She'll get over it. She's riling everybody up otherwise. You understand, Ken. All I know is whenever this shit happens, I'm the fucking bad guy. I'd like a thank you for once. For once! Oh yeah, a thanks for leaving me to die. Ass. Oh, things are coming to a head. You could say that. 
Well, I think you did good today. And I find myself thinking that most days. Thanks. It's probably worth following up with Lily about what she was saying about missing supplies. With her wound up the way she is, I don't want to see her paranoid. No question. And I'd like to talk when you've got a minute. Yeah, sure. I'd like to talk to you too, baby. Oh, she wants it. Pretty sure she wants me. I'm going to let her cool off. Talk to Clem. Let's see how she's doing in all of this. Hey, Clementine. Hey, Lee. What's that you're working on, Clem? It's called a leaf rubbing. My teacher, Miss huh. Moore, showed us how to do them when we went to the botanical garden once. It's actually really cool. See, it's the same. Um, kind of. <laughs> oh, that's really something. I'll make one for you, too. Aw. Do you like it here? I don't like it here. Do you want to leave? Where are we going? Somewhere else. I don't know. Maybe if I knew where? Yeah. Hmm. That'd be a good thing to know. I'll talk to you later, Clem. Okay. Good talk. What's Katya hey, have to two? say? How are you doing? We're okay. Just having a little spat. We all carry guns now, and I don't like it. It's the way it's got to be. I know, but I'm not getting used to it. Hmm. I'm sorry. How are you, Lee? You need to try harder with Lily. You guys gotta straighten this out. I don't know how straight we can get it given all that's happened. Huh. So what then? Time will come we'll have to do what's best for our families. And that's what we'll do. The storm on the horizon. You guys uh, trust everyone here? More or less. I obviously have my problems with Lily, but I don't distrust her. Yeah, we can't turn on each other any more than we have. Well, ain't that the truth? Strength in numbers. About the guns. Don't you start. Fine. I just wanted to say, Cat, it's probably good they make you uncomfortable. Thank you, Lee. <sighs> but we need them. There's no doubt about that. I'll talk to you later. All right, let's go talk to uh, Carly. Go up the stairs. All right, am I going to talk to her from the balcony? Oh, no, I'm going upstairs. I thought I was going to do like a Romeo and Juliet scene. Romeo, Romeo, wherefore art thou, Romeo? Talk to Lily yet? No, not yet. I will. What I wanted to say was, I've been thinking a lot about you. Oh, yeah? I think about you too, baby. You too. Our group is small. You're small. <laughs> You're a convicted killer. Carly, Jesus. And I think people should know. Not because they deserve oh. you, and not because you're a bad man. I think the opposite of those two things. People need to know because we're hanging by a thread here, and I can't see Lily talk about you without thinking it's the next thing she's going to say. You don't have to tell everyone, but think about who you trust and take the opportunity while you have it. Oh god, this is going to end badly. But she is probably right. You're probably right. Of course I'm probably right. <laughs> People might be pissed. And telling them might cause some trouble, but it will be a far cry from what will happen if they don't hear it from you. Yeah. So you'll do it then? I'll let, I'll people, let know. people know. You're totally right. Good. I think it's for the best. I'm going to tell Lily. Kiss. Aww. Don't call me small. <laughs> now, is there anything else you want to talk about? You really think people are ready to hear about me? It's not a matter of ready or not. There's never going to be a good time, but there are going to be a lot of bad ones. Yeah. Right now doesn't seem like one of them. But everyone's different. Who knows how each person would take it, you know? Maybe it's worth thinking about who you want to tell. 
Hmm. I'm gonna tell Clem. Feel safe here. Show I'm definitely going to tell Clem. In a high-rise apartment and hand me a full-bodied Malbec and then I'll feel safe. I don't know. This place is fine, but What's a Malbec? I could change it any second. You uh have any thoughts about Lily? I worry about her. That's about it. She keeps trying to run things, but it's just not working. I'm going to look into this thing. Good idea. All right, I'm going to talk to Lily. Actually, first See if I can say anything else to Clem. Clem, I need to talk to you for a second. Okie dokie. <sighs> I'm gonna tell her. Lee? I don't know which way Clem, to tell her. I need to talk to you for a second. No, I okay. can't choose. Don't make me choose. Before I met you and before the plague. I killed somebody. Oh, so that's what... Yeah, that's it. It was a bad thing and there's no explaining it. Why are you telling me? Because I didn't want to keep it to myself anymore. Huh. Do you have any questions? You can go on back to your things. Trust. I trust Clem. Let's see if I can uh, talk to Lily. I'm sorry. You don't have to apologize. Did you come in here to give me hell or to coddle me? I wanted to follow up on what you said about stolen supplies. Do you know what's going on? I don't. I just heard you mention it. Things are missing, huh. and I could use your help. There's Death. a traitor. Somebody, one of us, out there. He or she or they have been taking things. For real. Who? What do you got? Yes, for real. And I don't have shit. I just know. Lily. It counts off and it's the good stuff. Antibiotics, oxy, fuck, anything with opium in it. Opium, huh? I see the count and it's fine. I keep my own. That one's getting messed with. I'm a fucking mess right now, but I'm not stupid. I know what happens if I start a witch hunt. <laughs> so you want me to start one? I want you to poke around. <sighs> What's there to go on? Got any evidence? I found this tossed into the garbage. Huh. We don't toss out equipment, we fix it. You'd only try to get rid of a flashlight if you're using it when you shouldn't. I'll poke around. Okay, I'll poke around a little bit. Thank you. A mystery. Oh, Doc. Jesus, Doc. I'm sorry. Before we get any farther, uh, I think this would be a good place to leave off. I saw the little save icon. Uh, but yeah. Thanks for watching, guys. Y'all are great.